Welcome to my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If you like the content, please like, comment and subscribe. Alright guys, welcome back. Carrying on here. How did I just get a clue? Oh yeah. Yeah. For the few days off, not gonna lie. Um, just chilling, playing this game. All right, let's see if we can get in here a little bit closer and then we'll do another scan. So I'm working on this mission in this area just over here. I think depending on how much time we have in this video, I might come over here and get this cultist as well. And then upgrade our spear once more. Now let's have a look where everyone is. The mighty Tyrians. Built by the Cyclopses. Or so the legend goes. There's nothing really on this side. Uh. Couple of them walking around. I should check that out. Hey, yeah, you should. I need to find who's doing that. Get these guys up top. Yeah, that's this area cleaned up. There's a goat going up the stairs. All right. I don't know where he was. guy gonna come down as well he's coming down all right I might as well just stand here I mean all these enemies are coming right for me I see him over there and he wasn't there earlier because I came down this way These guys just come out of a meeting or something, because... Looks like they just walked over to their post all of a sudden.
Go get that guy over there. Honestly, I'm just killing them because they're just walking all to me. Otherwise, I would have... Got those... Resources. Oh, someone's aware. Yeah, this side everything's clear. Grab these. I wonder if it's because this isn't really the side. Looks like that side over there is mostly where everything is. button it's gonna set the whole place on fire yeah I'm gonna clear that area over there but what's going on here what are you doing here Hippocrates sent me your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. Can leave if this patient dies. Be fine. I'll go get your bone forceps. What's stopping him from leaving now? Still. Huh? Now that's weird. Hey, we're just gonna ninja our way around here. And again, take out some of these guys. Not sure why he did that weird path thing there, but okay. I like how it's saying that 
they're not really supposed to be dying. We're just one-shotting everything anyway. I don't even know what they saw. Yeah, I gotta move away from here though. I was hoping I can get behind him. Everyone seeing you now. Go light the fire, buddy. Yeah. Forceps should be in there. Once I deliver this, we can get back to Pokratis. These are the forceps he wanted. Well then, keep looking. Okay, hey, what else do we have left here? We gotta kill Omar. Captain, one war supplier, one chest.
Oh, all these guys are coming right to me. Nice. Unfortunately, I want my loot. Okay, now, where is that last chest? Guy's coming close, that's why I kind of stepped away from that. You know what? We'll find the chest. Oh, it's that one in the middle. An ancient chest. Always get confused with that. Maybe I'll do the conquest battle. I've only done a couple of them. When I played the game the first time, got caught up with the conquest battles. That's what took all my time investment and kind of killed my interest in the game at that time anyway. What was that? Dude. I'm gonna come up here and get this guy. I think he's the last guy left in the area. Is this it? You want a half bad assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Okay. And this whole area is done as well. Yeah, he's kind of close to that fast travel. We've got this area down here as well. This is where a whole bunch of new quests are and... Um... A couple of the other ones. Alright, we'll go hand this in first. Alright, so we are back at Hippocrates' camp, or Hippocrates, however you want to pronounce it. How's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this missile helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your nose, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. 
but two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. <laughs> Okay, hey, let's have a look which quests we have left now. Oh, we got something here. Yeah, I did go through all my gear and reapply my transmogs again. Just because I really didn't like the way half of the stuff looked. Right. We have the priests of this and upgrade the spear. And I want to go upgrade the spear. You know what, I'm going to go do this. So this guy is all the way over here. We'll be right back when we're closer. Alright guys, we are right here. I changed it to night time because I feel like it's going to be a little easier. I'm hoping some of these gods go to sleep. But Anyway, let's see. I wonder if I can do this. Not get seen. Okay, you can. Yeah, let's see how we can make this happen. I'm going to work my way backwards, forwards. no corpses get left behind it might be a little easier oh gosh my bad I didn't mean to Okay, we've got one more war supply to burn. These guys are all on high alert. How does it look on your end? Do not lose your focus. This one is dead. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh gosh. Give me a shield. Got a few more hits in. Get this guy over here. Where's he running off to? Learn, and then we'll go off to this guy over so here. Can't see. Moving back to an area where I can see. Can't believe he kind of lost. Aggro there. This area is done as well, right? Because we can upgrade our spear now. I'm gonna go see what that is. Because there's an icon there. I'm not gonna pay off my bounty. I killed the guy. I don't think anything will be around us. Alright. We are gonna go upgrade our spear. Because we can. 
I can remember where it is. Over here somewhere. Alright, making our way over to the spare upgrade location, the altar, I guess. I think it will upgrade again because we do have other cultists to kill. Have a look. Where does it show us our abilities, right? Yeah, spear level four. Damn it, I need one more level. Um. I say I need one more level because I need spear level 5 to upgrade most of my abilities to my maximum level. But yeah, rather than upgrade this first, I'm upgrading this because it does increase the fire build up chance. This just allows it to last longer, right? Uh, which is nice. But right now, I'd rather have the build up just so it takes less swings. Anyway. Nine, nine more fragments to get to five. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot. Seeing that we're at zero. There are upgrades on, I guess. Or we'll break them down. Definitely a huge upgrade there. Change the way it looks. Just so it matches the rest of our gear. Well, why is the purple armor less than blue? Oh, because we got 18% total armor. We'll keep that on for now. Although the assassin damage might be good. Put it on. Let me just unlock that as well. I do like the way this armor looks though. Just because it's kind of like a crop top. Goes off our cool abs. Alright, let's see which mission we're on now. Go up to mercenaries. Just make sure we get this crossed off. This guy is bowing his head in your shame. All right. So we defeated this guy. Yep. Akitas the Great. We got this guy here still. Only the one guy is left. This guy. The Beast of Sparta. Age wields a mace. Some of these are really high level. I'm not sure what the maximum level is in the game. Anyway, let's uh let's carry on here. We're gonna proceed with this one. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we're in the area thing to call Icarus. Get a little bit closer. I do want to get this fast travel first though. Right there. I need to talk to him. He's over there. And let's get this last one on the map. I know this one right here is really close. There he is. 
fast travel first, though. I did do the uh, the conquest battle for this area. It was right around here somewhere. Um, it wasn't anything special. I just did the easier one, and it was very easy. The sanctuary of Asclepios, god of medicine. But didn't get anything in terms of loot that's worth mentioning, which broke it all down. And then, of course, when while I was just walking around looting the corpses there, uh, one of the bounty guys came, lower level one. So I beat them as well. And of course, they didn't drop me anything worthy because it was low level again. I think it was 27. The level. Okay, let's go after that one over there first. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like me, Von. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Did she? Tell me about the woman and her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no! There is already a corpse in there. What are you talking about? Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios! He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Dorios will be furious if his sacred snakes get chopped to bits. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then you'll tell me what I need to know. Hey, um, you know what? Let's do that one first. And then we'll come back and do the others. Otherwise, I'll just get lost and confused. I'm in the wrong place. I think there was a cave, right? I wasn't entirely listening. <laughs> Um, let me do a scan of this area. The underground pipe connects to a water source. Flood the bath and get rid of the stakes. Oh, it's right there.
Okay, report back to that guy. That's it. That's what we had to do. But it might have been a little bit more involving than that. Come on, game. Go over there, interact with it. Doesn't even do an animation. Then come back. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance. Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like your snakes. Can we kill that guy. I got doing teasing us. All right, let's have a look. Um, go to this one. This is right here. Actually, that one's pretty close as well. I'm sure they're both gonna not really give us any direction. Alright, where is this guy? Um... Oh, what? I didn't do that. My bad, buddy. I didn't mean that. We're friends. a sacrifice no but i'm searching for a spartan mother who may have the great goddess ira guides many mothers to the sacred place surely i'm too feeble to remember them all what are these stone slabs for these are uh, records we document all who pass through uh, their illnesses treatments so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. We threaten him. My mother came through here and unless you want me to paint these stones with your blood you'll tell me what you know please it's Chrysis she said that anyone who talks to the eagle bearer will be paying a visit to Hades then don't talk just bring me to the stone that can follow me then quickly we must be discreet lead the way Right, this one. We're walking so slow. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bear. Oh god, I hope that guy doesn't aggro. <laughs> Ah, I remember this day, written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so he could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these... Treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Fukidivis, and the Evis, the 
petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, This one tells the tale of a man with a sword wounds, a pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, eagle bearers. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests, taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly, was very strong-willed, and uh, before too long, How's this guy going? it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there is an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um, God, what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. But the child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go finish this one up. All right, we're still trying to find this old priest hiding by some tree over here. The tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where is that priest? Literally right there. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Plistos! Please! Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. You ask for it! Get rid of their muscle first. Gosh. An awkward place to fight.
Oh god. Jeez, how many of them are there? I'm sure we're gonna get a bounty on us for this. He's just standing right there. I need that bounty. You have to oh, what? Oh, gosh. Oh my god, how many of them are there? He hitting me with a eh? body shot. Where's my bounty guy? Oh, he's over here. Nice, we got a spear. So I don't mind having a bounty on my head a little bit. They do carry some good loot. I think the guy got killed as well, maybe the priest. Or did the quest end? Come on. All right, we're stealing this horse. That was a fun fight. Fun battle. I mean, they just kept coming. Oh 
my god. Please help our daughter. Same sickness as the rest. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepius to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing mystials. Or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. Hey, hot for a head. see where we're off to i'm gonna do this in the next video and possibly just pack my bounty right now i do like having at least one skull active but we've already beaten that bounty hunter so it won't send anyone for a while anyway yeah we're on tier seven which means unlock this Perfect. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.